Targeted individuals speak out, finally. All right. Now, I'm going to share with you some key stories or themes. People have been writing to me and uh, getting sessions, and they've been watching this video I made about five or six days ago. It got 28,000 views in about five or six days. It's about targeted individuals, and finally, there's, we are able to talk about it, speak out. And I encourage you, if you are targeted, drop a comment below this video about your story. And don't worry, you're among friends. You're, we know you're not fucking crazy. And I want to share with you some of the fucking things that the people that are reaching out to me are sharing. And if you've got some issues with this targeted thing and you would like some help with it, Katana and I work together. We give you sessions. We coach you and train you and hat you up on different things. And some of the entities and the phenomena we can get rid of and we can teach you how to different various techniques and the bottom line, what sort of things have to happen if this is for you. Okay, but <clears throat> back to this targeted individual speaking out. Finally, you have a place where you can talk about it, right? Right here under these videos. Now, I've talked to people this week, three or four people, mm, assassin, assassination attempts, like three, you know, one guy had three attempts. Uh, another woman had like two attempts. One, they tried to kill her at birth. You know, somebody was literally strangling her. And so <clears throat> that's a thing. Uh, some people have died and come back being targeted. Now, we're talking the hardcore, military-grade, voice-to-skull kind of technology. They're hearing the voices loud and clear in their head like a radio broadcast. Uh, some are being targeted by agencies. Some people are being literally run off the freaking road. Uh, or a car stops in front of them and a car stops behind them and on a lonely country road. It's like, oh shit, oh shit. So this friend of mine, she's, oh, and she just steps on it, man. Vroom! And bugs out of there. But another, I'm just getting off, I'm kind of, I'm wired right now because I've been wanting to make this video, but I'm very distracted. My energy is weird right now. And there's something off. And three or four things have mm, detracted me from making this particular video. And this is like uh, the fourth take. Three outtakes already. But I'm not going to slow down. I'm just going to pour it on. It's like I'm going to sound like a crazy guy. But don't we all, right? We start talking about this shit. We start, you fucking crazy, motherfucker. No, bitch. Wake up, please. The shit's Going down, right? Right? Okay, so I'm going to take a deep breath. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, calm down, Richie. Huh? Calm down, dude. All right. Now, mm. so, what I've been trying to understand, what is it that people need most that are being targeted? Well, one... They would like it to go the fuck away. Uh, you know, what's, you know, sometimes they're being monitored. They'll get visuals in their head. Uh, they'll get the audio in their head. It's like, what? And they hear the voices or they'll see creepy things in their, in their room. Uh, one friend of mine told me just today that she literally, in her backyard, watched her boyfriend get thrown across the the yard from an invisible entity phenomenon. She's psychic, so she could kind of she could see it. But manifesting in the physical world and throwing his throwing him across the room, man, uh, across the fuck. Another woman I talked to this week saw literally she's she's driving down a country road or she stops because this thing. It's flying around and it lands near her car and she 
It was a 12 foot tall, that's big, 20 foot wingspan, draconian reptilian motherfucker, right? All black, black looking. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. People are right in, in you know, people, are, they see UFOs, they park almost every night, they can go out and, yep, there they are, and they go, vroom, vroom, vroom. and some people can call them in. This is usually uh, the good guys, ETs, uh, and they're, they're being monitored, but it's more like you got your buddies watching your back kind of thing. But a lot of other people are being uh, hounded and uh, tracked and They've got entity attachments and just all kinds of creepy shit, man. It goes every which way but loose. So, <clears throat> I want to hear your story, right? Uh, leave a comment below. Tell us what the fuck, man. Are you seeing, when you look in the mirror and you see the fucking devil looking back at you? That shit happens. I've been doing this for many years now, and I have so many clients that have shared so many wild and crazy things fucking stories, man. And uh, they're regular people, man. Housewives, moms, uh, hardworking guys, truck drivers, bank managers, uh, they work in high tech, computer programmers, all kinds of people, all walks of life. But what I've found out, what I see, people writing to me, I talk on the phone for a a few hours a day, sometimes. Today it's been over an hour. Uh, to people who are writing in and leaving their phone number, and they're sharing their story with me. And it's unfucking believable. There's some people, they find out there's underground tunnels near where they live. Uh, other people, they find out there's a military base, underground military base, real hardcore physical universe stuff just down the street. And some people, they, they're living near a graveyard. Other people, they're living uh, near a um, you know, well, witch coven sort of thing. Some people have witches in their uh, lineage, their bloodlines, voodoo stuff. So we're getting beyond the phenomena of simply being targeted by Mm, government, shadow government, deep state, military, three-letter agencies. We're going beyond that because all those things I just mentioned also work in the astral, what we loosely call the astral. It's, it's that which is beyond our perception, normal perception range. But a lot of you are psychic, and you can see beyond the physical range of perception. And you can see the spiders and they're crawling all over the walls or the octopus fucking things or the UFOs or the ETs or the, and they sneak around looking in your window. I've had people talk to me who are being physically abducted wide awake during the day and they know it. They go on board the ship. They meet their little baby. Hybrid babies and they're nurturing the hybrid child to help it mm, learn emotions and love from mother but mother doesn't get to keep the child she, she gets get your ass out of watch out for the fucking doorknob bitch kick the woman out and uh you know six months a year later she's abducted again i and she's, you know, crazy shit, man. Crazy stuff. Portals opening up people's rooms. Some people are being really hounded by demons. There's different kinds of entities, right? One of them is the demon kind. And they're kind of like stronger, more prevalent, more, you know, they have more strength of intention in their, it can be in your face more. And these kinds have actually controlled the client's body. 
and you can see them right in the session trying to get control of their own body all right now this is not unusual i'm sharing this with you because you might have some weird ass fucking things have happened to you and you can't tell anybody you already tried they almost, they might have thrown you in a fucking loony bin or they would and you know it so you keep your mouth shut ah, but so many people this happened it's happening all over the world what's it about you know why do they target you so that's what we help you with we figure we help you understand get the clarity the information you need to then deal with it because it's not like uh, if you're being targeted and it's literally microwaves frying your body and you feel your body heat up and it's going like this and you're getting a massive headaches or this really loud thought goes bang 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 over and over and over and over again something weird uh, that with a, a talk session with me and Katana, is that going to resolve? It's not like we can go after the hardware and, you know, dismantle it. But what we can do and what we do is help a person understand and do the best they can with increasing their vibration releasing the fear some people we talk to they're not afraid they go fucking bastards they're angry which is way better than being afraid of those fuckers and the fuckers don't like it when we talk about them and tell everybody that they're real and when we start convincing other people well man yeah i think you have a point there or there will be people in the world that are being targeted and harassed. They're seeing entities and weird shit and they're maybe being abducted or they're getting these weird thoughts or voices in their head and they're not telling anybody. So this is if this is you, I'm reaching out and I'm talking to you because there's a lot of people experiencing it and a lot of you guys and gals have fuck it, man, and you, you've posted. There's like over 700 comments under that video I made a few days ago. So you can go over there. You can post here and post your story and read some of the stories. You'll probably find more than one that's similar to what you're dealing with. Sometimes they will harass you to take your children, literally. They'll make you incompetent, you know, and there's agents and there's all kinds of weird, crazy shit. It sounds like fucking nut job when we talk about it, right? But we know what we're talking about. I mean, no, it's, it really happens. The dark side on planet Earth, Kazarian Mafia, Shadow Government, Deep State, Illuminati, Freemasons, whatever you want to call it, super rich power elite, control structures, doesn't matter what you call it, pyramid sort of hierarchical archon stuff. And it goes off planet or it goes extraterrestrial and it goes extra dimensional. And you know that already. Because they're dealing with you from beyond our physical, normal, third density perspective or our reality system and density and all that. So, you and I know this, right? That they don't want the rest of the world knowing this. They want, every, they want the entire world to know, uh, to think that uh, there's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, come on. There's no such thing as ETs or UFOs. Come on. And there's no such thing uh, as magic or black magic. Come on. No, witches? No. Jinns? Genies? Nah. <laughs> Shit's all real, man. But then you got to understand what reality is. What do you mean real? You, can I touch and feel it? Well, maybe you can't touch and feel it, but I can touch and feel it, motherfucker. There are people I talk, you know, there's clairsentient, there's uh, clairaudient, there's clairvoyant, and there's clear smelling and clear touching. And it's that psychic perception. And they can touch and feel or smell beyond the physical. 
and I got to look those two up. Yeah, the, the the name for the Claire Sentient and the Claire Smiller, Claire Sniffer, you know. But some people have control over it, and some people don't, and it's just like too much. It's like slow down. I wish I wasn't like this. I wish I couldn't hear every thought people are thinking, or feel what they're feeling. Yeah. So it's a thing. But the dark side doesn't want us talking about the fact that we can do it. We can see it. Because when we start seeing beyond the veil, our hearing, and we understand what we're looking at and seeing and feeling and experiencing, if we get a voice and start sharing what we know and experience ourselves, oh, that just fucks up the dark side. They love to work in the dark and in secret. So we start exposing them by talking about them. So you get to talk in a fucking comment. And I look through the comments. I do my best to delete uh, negative comments, uh, you know, trolls and negative shit. I just, no question, I just like block or remove or something. So it keeps it clean, and we don't argue. We don't disrespect other people's experiences because uh, we know, we understand that it's a, an entire fucking circus out there, a fucking shit show. There's every kind of imaginable entity, okay? Creepy crawly spiders, the little fucking crab thing, ugh, like in the movie Alien, but real, but metaphysical. And people can see that stuff, little, Little things drop down like little spiders. They, kind of, they can cover your room. That spider shit. And let's not forget the really fun one. The incubus, succubus, and sexual entity phenomenon. That's a thing. It's, that one's tricky because sometimes people will call in. They will do a little magic ritual asking for an incubus or a succubus playmate. Right? And... Oops, it can be fun at first, and after a little while, they get a little aggressive, and they want more, and they want more, and they want, and they start sucking you dry, and uh, hounding you, and that's one kind of experience. Another one is, you didn't ask for it, but there it is, and you may not see it, eyes wide open. You don't see it, but you feel it. It's like the invisible man doing you. It's like, what the hell? And you, you can feel every, every detail. It's re you know it's really happening. But you, know, you might have a mate in bed, and they go, what? What are you doing? Right? They can't see it. Right? So can you tell them or can you not? Who can you tell? Who can you talk to about stuff like that? So there's all kinds of that. And sometimes it'll be in your astral or in your dream state. They're coming at you. They can abduct you. They can, you know, do all kinds of things against your will to cause you trauma and emotional issues. Now, it becomes our job to understand the phenomena and understand the various kinds of entities. And there's all kinds. You can call them lower astral entities, middle astral, higher astral, angelic realm entities, fallen angel entities, regressive ETs, greys, reptilians, in the astral, right? Mantis beings in the astral. And uh, any kind of ET race, good or bad, there can be beings here to either help you or fuck with you, right? And so it's, in, it's a big fucking circus out there. It's a big shit show. And they're taking advantage of us keeping us dumbed down and ignorant. And because we are unaware and ignorant of what's going on or who's doing what to who or why, we are afraid uh, and... That just helps their agenda when we, we're in the fear band, okay? And uh, 
So when they get into your space, it's what you need, what you want to do. And I know that's what you're trying to do. You're looking all over the internet for information about this stuff. Who's telling the truth? Who's legit? Who's a bullshit fucking artist? And what the fuck, mate? Right? Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to share what I know after... Mm, I learned about entities about 30 years ago and started learning techniques to deal with them. And I've done, you know, a few hundred hours, maybe 150 hours, you know, just, and you learn techniques over the years. And just because you clear your space, it doesn't mean they're gonna, not going to come back. They can come back. Here's a trick they use. You can do a technique to get rid of an entity of some kind. doesn't matter, all kinds, right? If you get rid of one, and it comes back tomorrow, right? You go, oh, shit, my technique didn't work. So you abandon your technique. They want you to do that because your technique worked, right? And you got rid of that. You vanquished, you annihilated, you made them disappear, whatever. It worked. What they do is bring in a copy, a duplicate, so that you will think you're... Your technique didn't work, and you give up your technique. No. What you do is you go, mm, is this a copy? And you get that sense. you got to just ask the questions, and you will get the answers. That's one saving grace we got going for us. We ask the questions, we'll get an answer. And if they're lying, we'll know it, right? He said yes, but he's lying, right? But normally, you don't have to get their answer. You can read their mind because they're already in your mind and you're already reading their thoughts, thinking they might be your own, but you already have that connection with this particular entity. So you ask questions, the answer pops up. It might sound like or feel like you answering it yes or no, but it's, it's the entity because this is what we're doing. We're directing our attention to the entity. So when you deal with entities, generally speaking, you're like, where is it? Uh, it's right there, and some people can see them, some people can feel them, some people can smell them, and the thing might just fly around, and it might try to disappear on you. Uh, fuck, I'm out of here. You guys are going to try to handle me. I'll come back later. No, we can track them. When you work with, with uh, Katana and me, or, or just me, we can track that fucker. And go, there he is. No, he's, he took off. He's hiding mm, up in, behind the clouds. Distance is not a problem. Man. Put a beam on the guy, and we're going to finish our conversation with it. We're going to find out everything we can about it. And one of the things about entities is they have something in common with you. Something you hate, they hate. Something you love, they love. Uh, if you have a certain sexual inclinations or fun things, oh, them too. Whatever... They are, if they are in your space, there's something in common. It can be a common emotion, a common intention, common fear, common love, common digs, common history, common lover thousand years ago, came from the same planet a billion years ago. There'll be something in common, right? So we find the backstory uh, between you and this entity. We find the relationship. How did it all start? Why is this thing fucking with you? Sometimes they're fucking with you because they got told to fuck with you. They're just a fucking grunt. Who's their boss? You, you could find out, oh, this is a black ops, uh, three-letter agency, astral fucking thing they're doing on you. Or it could be uh, regressive ETs doing something. We just ask. We find out. It could be AI, that advanced AI, that galactic... I am the Borg, sort of weird shit. But stuff's, yeah, that's a thing, man. And they, they tap the programs that are in our head. They implant programs in us. They could have implanted programs in you like a thousand years ago, literally. And they trigger it in this life with a thought or something. Trigger, trigger. I'm telling you, it's so fucking whacked and crazy. Mm. But... I want this to be an opportunity for you to go, oh, fuck. Yeah. And uh, share your story so other people 
that have problems. And if you have solutions or things you've tried that have helped, maybe not solved it completely. If solved completely, yeah, share that too. But sometimes you'll come up with things. You call in spirit guides or you, you use uh, minerals or uh, sacred rocks or sacred geometry or sacred writings or uh, mantras or praying or whatever it might be. Visualization, energetic shielding, grid work, move locations, whatever it might be. If it's working for you, even a little bit, share it because there's going to be other people right here watching this sort of stuff going, hey, I think I'll try that. And you might help somebody out. And stuff will catch on. And more and more people uh, will get more grounded with better understanding of this phenomena and feel more comfortable talking about it. And then even more people will find out about it. And we're waking up people one person at a time. But you don't want to go talking to, you know, your close-minded close friends or associates or family members. If they're not going to get it, they're just going to turn on you. A lot of our family members or friends or associates or neighbors are programmed to shut this awakening down. Right? So there's a whole lot we could talk about, you know, contentious associates, friends, and relationships, and all that stuff. We'll talk about that later. But if you got something like that going, we help you deal with the relationship, but from a psychic or spiritual or energetic or an entity approach. Because these bad boys can actually control people in your environment and have those people messing with you. Yeah. And the person doesn't even realize it. Or what if the person is a backdrop person? Feel people. They fill in the scene. They're not real people. Also known as NPCs or non-player characters in the game of life. And what are we in? Are we in a matrix? No, man, it's not a matrix. Dumbass. It's a simulation. Oh, excuse the fuck out of me. I thought I was a vulgar matrix. No, dude. It doesn't matter what we call it. It's a fucking label, man. We're here. <laughs> fucked with. How do we snap out of it? Well, if that was easy, it'd be done, wouldn't it? But one of the things we can do is learn about it, become more enlightened about it, understand the phenomena, and get agreement with like-minded beings that hold similar values and beliefs that you and I do. You know, love is a good thing, freedom of spirit, liberation, consciousness, awareness, understanding, truth, all this, these are values we, we hold dear. And uh, so we can help each other by sharing what we understand and what we know and what we've experienced. All right. So others of us that are new to this are going, oh, well, maybe I'm not fucking crazy. Right, you're not fucking crazy, but... This society, this way this thing is built, they, the big they, want you to think you're crazy and invalidate or make less of what you think might be real. And they definitely want you to shut up and not talk about, you know, you hearing the voices. That's one, there's two ways these voices come at you. One is your clear audience, and there's an entity or a being of some sort knows this and spotted you. Oh, he can hear me or she can hear me. And it'll start talking at you. And if it's a regressive or a creepy fucking entity, it's going to harass you. And it might just have fun all by itself. It's fucking with you because it can. Uh, it loves, just like a fucking bully at school, grammar school. The bully likes to fucking bully because he gets soft on it. Entities can do that. Or they can be working for a bigger program. And they're just doing what the boss said. So that, then we jump, who's the boss? We find the boss. 
and in the astral or the uh, non-physical, and then we talk to the boss, and what's the score, and then we can undo this stuff with our imagination, because these realms beyond the physical, there's a place where our imagining manifests, and we can change the reality in those realms, and these entities live in those realms. They are creations of our consciousness on some level as our own physical bodies. All right. So they're going, oh, shit, oh, shit. This guy figures this out and he gets into the right frequency and starts dealing with me. I'm not I'm going to be a nothing burger. I'm out of here. Pew! So it either take off or you can undo him before he gets away. And this is just a couple of techniques. Oh, I'm getting a. I'm getting an eye ache. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah. It's behind my eye. It's like I could go in, I could go into a demonstration of how I do it right now. It just left. Now it's back. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of experience with this stuff, so uh, uh he's going, You fool, you never catch me. <laughs> we'll talk later, buddy. I'm busy right now. He, he, it just wants to distract me from this video and that's all. But yeah, yeah. So that is about all I have to share with you. And uh, I apologize. Please, ho 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 pono pono. Uh, I'm sorry if this video is a little mm, all over the place or unorganized or kind of strange. And I was a little hyper at the beginning. Please forgive me. All right. I love you and thank you for watching. All right. You want to see another style of uh, Ho'oponopono? This works too. It's, it's, um, it's uh, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you. Or it's, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. you know, whatever feels right. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> anyway, you want. But there are other ways you can do Ho'oponopono. If you're the kind of person that you don't want to forgive, you know, you're supposed to do, you're supposed to forgive everybody, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you go to an entity, this entity right here that was fucking with my eyeball. <laughs> I can do a whole point. There's two, I'm going to do the other style. Watch this. Uh, there you are. He's, he, he's got, he's not really a human form, but he's like, he's <laughs> I go, I'm sorry I'm ratting you out. Please forgive me for telling the fucking world what kind of weird fucker you are. <laughs> I love you, man. You're fun. Thank you for making my day. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> and he's out of here. Uh, man, yeah. I've been doing this many years, so. All right. So, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you need some help with this stuff, I can help you. Me and you. Or, if you prefer, uh, we can work with Katana and me. We can help you. We can double team that fucking bitch. And uh, Katana can see lots of stuff. I'm clairsentient. I got that clairsentient thing going. Not every fucking day I'm the smartest guy on the block, but <laughs> I can tap into it pretty quickly when I need to, okay? And uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Ah, and I think we're finally making a connection, and I think big things are happening right now. Yeah. This, this, kinda, this is the, one of the biggest problems humanity has being hounded and harassed by this unseen in all these different ways the unseen is hounding and harassing us right so we're starting to wake up to it and we're finding a voice we can now talk you can share and start a dialogue with somebody else like-minded that maybe they have the same kind of experiences in comments you know anyway 
we're getting there. All right? Okay. You take care of yourself, all right? If you need some help, I'm here for you. All right? All right. I can give you some relief. A little, oh, is that what's going on? We can look into your stuff specifically. And you go, oh, okay. And we might even get rid of a few of those motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of techniques we can try. Okay? All right. Take care, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.